Hello everyone, Lady Phoenix here and welcome back to some more Nino Kuni, Wrath of the White Witch. So in the previous video, we finally entered inside of the Ivory Tower and gotten some of it done. Uh, this is the last dungeon of the game, so it's pretty massive. So we got a lot of stuff to take care of. Well, more like I'm going the wrong way. More like dialogue stuff. So let's go ahead and get started. Make sure you're fully healed and prepared and let me make sure that actually swap there we go good thing i double checked just fill that out let's just go ahead and continue onward I wonder why she calls him Doodle Doo. <laughs> I find it kind of awesome how the dialogue, the tone of the dialogue as it scrolls by, it's kind of like echoed for Gallus because he's like in the armor and whatnot. That's right. I mean, we made it this far. I don't want to fight Doodle Doo. That one looks very similar to Mornstar. I wasn't all that surprised that we faced against Galas because that's what the game does, but okay, Galas operate, he switches his weaknesses up, uh, elemental wise. Um, I usually don't cast magic, I don't even bother casting magic on him really, I just let my um, party members do that. Um, <laughs> I'm already okay bolts of judgment so when he does that so whatever he uses I think he uses against him like he uses storm elemental I want to say you use that if you're gonna use magic the same element that he used you use against him it probably won't be as effective but it won't take you know hard to explain this. <laughs> wow, I'm already like, I was already like, down. Alright, there you go, Esther. Well, it's a good thing I did block that. Oh, thank you person whoever did that oh gosh sorry Aaron <laughs> so now he's using ice so I seen the stupid thing flashing he may do oh he's doing lightning oh wait I see what how that's working okay nothing too bad I think Esther cast a spell on us that made our attack and defense go up, which is actually pretty good. You'll be surprised what Esther's uh, magic can do when she's, you know, by herself. But now he has a blue aura. I honest, I think he's going to go ahead and use the ice move. And see, someone used a lightning based uh, spell. So, because Gallus just got done casting the um, lightning move. So he's weak. He's not weak to it. Ah, oh, damn it! Couldn't hit X in enough time. 
I don't think they were able to defend either. Yeah, I, I put in a command, but it wasn't fast enough. Moxon, you are dying, dude. I think he's in ice. That's how he's. That's why he's taking damage. Thank you, Esther. And let me help you out. Yeah, m having Moccasin in a party is very useful because he has the exact same, uh, similar... He he doesn't have everything that Oliver has, like Morastar, obviously. Like, the actual spell. But, like, he can cast very helpful, uh, spells, like Helping Hand. Just like Oliver can. Ow! Yeah, jerk. Hey, someone get that golden glim. I think someone got it. I hope someone got it. Oh, it doesn't even matter. <laughs> and that was Gallus. Oh, this cape look awesome. <laughs> Yay! Up four? Just from one level up? That's pretty good. Ghost? But shouldn't you be, like, somewhat transparent if that's the case? Oh. Oh. Mornstar's twin. Astra. Ah, I see. Okay, it's starting to make sense now. Oh, the stick, our very first one. Just enough to get me into you guys' world. Yeah, really. Not unless you actually have a brain and it's like, uh-uh, I ain't with this. Er? So you're the, the late Wizard King, if that's the case. see ah you did the best you could I mean you are a spirit you are a wand after all Looks exactly like more so I'm trying to look at it to see what's the difference as far as like appearance. The Astra is definitely stronger than Morstar, but I'm trying to look at it. I, I I can't from the top of my head I can't see the difference between Astra and Morstar. If there is if if there is any difference. Cassiopeia, that that name. <laughs> it just tickles me. Now, if you would have imagined, there is a spell called Astra. But here's the thing. You actually have to find Horus in order to do to get that spell. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna travel. No, we're gonna vacate. 
because we're technically in a dungeon. We're going to vacate out of here. I think we have to hop on Tengri. Yeah, we do. Hop on Tengri. Travel to Ding Dondale. Ding Dondale is the first place that we found Horus. Only makes sense that we go back there. Kind of, sort of. Not really, but whatever. But we just need to land. Even though Ding Dong Dale is over there, we're just going to be lazy and travel <laughs> to save a couple of seconds. And this is what I meant by earlier, you know, a couple of videos back. I said we were going to deviate from the main story for just a little bit to take care of this side quest thing. Well, this is the thing. I want the Aster Spell for the final battle. I didn't have the Aster Spell for the final battle on my first playthrough. I would like to have it. Because... <laughs> Even though Mornstar and Evenstar is powerful, Astra is even more powerful. Also, I didn't have the the, the uh, Dinosaurus or Dinosaurus or whatever it's called, the uh, familiar that that Aaron is to use Ear Splitter, and maybe that will help too. I'm prepared for the White Witch this time. I have different things. So anyway, we have to go back to the original spot where Horus was at. Now I have read that you can do this before you uh, you can get this spell before you get Astra. And you can I think you can cast it or something like that. I'm not entirely sure. What the crap? Oh, I was about to say, uh, you're supposed to be here, Horus. <laughs> The only way you can have Horus appear here right now is if you've met him in all the other locations. Ah, yeah, that's right. What's that? Uh, no, not really, but it's just like you to give me a riddle. Yeah, I can work it out. Yeah, 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 yeah. So the answer is unleash. You know, like the spell. Assuming that I spelled this correctly, because you know me, I'm, I'm liable to misspell some stuff. <laughs> That's correct. That and it's unless you can use that as a summon. Thunderstorm. Now, interesting fact, Moccasin comes with this spell already. <laughs> huh? You were alive when that mana originally fell? Ouch. No. Huh. Okay. Oh, poor kid. Alright, so the place that you have to meet him, or where he died, is where NASCAR was originally at before it collapsed and became what it is now. You just travel back here and enter the area. This is kind of depressing. <laughs> Talking about all this death. Are you sure this is ready? Yeah, it says ready to <laughs> Of 
we continue to walk up here and if you've done everything and met him in all the places and everything there he is but this time he's all grown up he really was a great sage let's talk to him I have a question. <laughs> this just occurred to me. Why is it that in some RPGs, or oh, when I mean some, I mean one other RPG, do the summoner or sage have green hair? Of course I'm talking about Rydia from Final Fantasy IV. She was a little kid, she got swallowed up, and then when you meet back with her, she's all grown up, and she had nice, long, pretty green hair. Same thing with Horus. He was a pipsqueak, only he's dead, then he's actually dead, and Rydia, we thought we, she was dead. And now he's all grown up with long green hair. <laughs> oh, man. Poor Nazca, Nazca or Nascar, and poor uh, Zanadu. We can't forget about them. Even though they, you know, somewhat rebuilding back in Perdia, but still. Ah. I guess I could actually show it off because I'd actually never show it off where you could find the answers to this. But if you go here, turn the page, la 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 these are all the spells that we've learned. And this brings me uh somewhere. Um Oh, there it go. See, it has second self. Remember those? That was uh, one of the many spells that we got from Fairy Godmommy's Summy, and we could never use it. And there goes Mimic right there. Fuse, I don't think we can use. Leaf of Life. Anyway, it's just interesting to see those spells. Anyway, but that's not what we came here for. Ooh, it's black. Even star. Darkness. I know it's here. Any day now. Turn the page. There we go. If you see right here under Wizard's World, you notice how all these descriptions are, you know, regular descriptions. But under Wizard's World, B E W A R E, in red, that spells beware. And Wizard's Robe is the answer. I thought that was pretty cool. Alright, we got the answer. I got it. I got it. Oh, no. <laughs> nope. Can, can you spell for once? Can you spell for once, Phoenix? I can't believe I missed... Uh, spelled uh wizard uh not wizard well crispy the time when the answer was crispy lettuce i was so embarrassed <laughs> zodiac So 
long ago indeed. A lot has happened. Drippy is going to inform him. That's okay, we're going to make her all better. But she didn't mean to. Well, she meant to do it, but she meant it with good intentions. Oh, God. What's wrong with it? Okay. <laughs> and just like even Star, we have a black page for Astra. And this is the Astra spell. Like more star, only more powerful. Really drippy. Horologium, Okay, yeah, horse is so much better. What the crap, dude? What type of name is that? Yeah, we finally believe you <laughs> that you were a great sage, sage of the ages. I, I believe you, dude. Trust me. <laughs> Thank you, Horus. And because of you, we have a very powerful spell at our disposal. Now, here comes the extra fun part. We have to go back into Ivory Tower. But here's the thing. We have to traverse back to where we left off with the doodle do. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and cut back to where we fought Gallus. A.K.A. Doodle Doo, A.K.A. The Wizard King, A.K.A. The Wand Astro. <laughs> so see you guys in a bit. Okay, welcome back. Here I am back in the hallway where we first encountered uh, Doodle Doo or Gallus or whatever you want to call him. And now we're going to go ahead and continue onward in the Ivory Tower. Now we've already seen most of the enemies with the exception of the Toko. Uh, I think it's Toko 2 Code or Toko Code or something like that. That's the last variation of it inside of the ivory tower so once we oh no we're not dealing with you guys nope mm -mm. nope so i'm just gonna go through the rest of this rest of the area of the ivory tower and we'll confront the white witch in the next video now this video is going to be pretty long the last video wasn't as long as i thought it was going to be oh here goes the toko i gotta show it off guys i am so sorry but this thing is going to give me so much EXP, it's ridiculous. And this is the portion of the game, or the portion of the um, dungeon that you can run into the Toko. But this isn't the save point where you can grind off these guys from. And good, we already got rid of that guy. Oh yeah, I have the rating to play. I was like, I'm getting a HP now. Well, jeez, Duke. Poor guy. <laughs> Our bravery is just being rewarded. Ah, so lovely. And that's just off of one toko. So some nice level gains, especially for Moccasin. Because Moccasin needed it. Badly. <laughs> Getting three levels, that's not bad. Because I do plan on taking Moccasin to the final round because he has, uh, he'll be useful with casting, uh, magic. Speaking of that, I forgot. Get rid of Morristar. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Get Astra. Now, 
Moccasin, I don't, obviously, I don't use the characters for, uh, attack power. But he is magic based, so I'm gonna give Moccasin more star. I can't alchemize a better, uh, scepter for him. Um, but I think the ingredients that you can get is in post game. And while I'm traversing through the ivory tower, I might as well go ahead and address this. Uh, I will complete, do some post game stuff, so, uh, such as showing off the casino and, uh, showing off the Solosseum. But those are going to be bonus videos or whatever. Um, I will be taking a break from the game when I'm done with the main series, well, with, with the main storyline or whatever. And there are a couple of bounty hunts and errands that we have to complete that I will do in post-game. And post-game videos are probably going to be pretty beefy. Um, but I'm in no rush to get to it. Because, quite frankly, this game, nothing against this game. I think this is a fantastic game. But for Let's Play purposes, you know, for the channel, I've been doing this to Stick of Truth for quite some time now. And I think it's time to move on to other games, and I have other games in mind. And again, there's no offense to this, but it tends to happen when, you know, L when you LP a game that's just, you know, pretty big and beefy and just long in general. Um, I'm actually surprised that I may I'm pretty much a I've actually going to complete the main game main storyline of the game in under 80 parts which is fantastic and some of those videos I weren't even progressing the storyline I was doing bounties and errands for like three four videos straight which is like a week's worth because this game has been in the Monday Tuesday I mean Monday Wednesday Friday slot you know so with occasional Saturday or Sunday, whenever I forget to upload, which by the way, as of today, I still have yet to uh, see if I can have access to um, schedule uploads, which I should be able to, because uh, things have changed on YouTube since then. You used to be a, have to be a partner. Now, you don't have to be a partner to have things such as custom thumbnails and whatnot, which is good. Uh, but anyway, I just wanted to... Get the main game out of the way. And like I said, I'm very happy that I was able to do it in under 80 parts. And back on my original channel, went back when, you know, I deleted it because I didn't think I was going to come back to Let's Plays. But I had almost 500 subscribers and I was doing pretty good, you know. And I hope to regain my audience and whatnot. But anyway, back on that channel, I had did a Let's Play of Final Fantasy VIII, which is, by the way, my favorite game of all time. It's not um, perfect by any means, of course, but I just love it. The relationship between uh, some of the characters are just phenomenal to me. Uh, but anyway, it took me 88 parts. <laughs> I 100%ed the whole thing, and it took me 88 parts. And as far as like views go, people were really interested, which is a freaking blessing, because Final Fantasy, whoa, buddy. <laughs> A lot of Final Fantasy games are pretty beefy, and 8 is one of them, 7 is also one of them, I believe 6 is one of them, I've never actually completed 6. 4 is kind of fairly on the shorter side, I did Let's Play 4, did everything in that game as well. It took me under 40 parts, I believe, to do it, so it wasn't bad. Oh, no, 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 calm that down. And I'm... I know when Nino Kuni 2 comes out, you know I have to let's play it. You know I have to let's play it. You know, but I know that's going to be a pretty beefy game because if the first one was beefy, huh? You can bet your bottom dollar the second one's going to be beefy. Just a PlayStation 4. Hey, Tigger! What's up, buddy? See, here's the thing. I'm gonna have to, like, come over here just to complete the map. Because, you know, I'm like that. <laughs> I don't think there's anything over here, though. Like I said, we're just navigating through this uh, through the tower at this point. We're not gonna even deal with enemies or anything of the sort. Yeah, that was a waste of time. 
Uh, we're not gonna deal with any enemies or anything of the sort. We're just gonna breeze by because we're already over 33 minutes. And <laughs> like I said, this this video is gonna be pretty massive, and it's like the next two videos are gonna be focused on the White Witch and end credits, and that's gonna be a doozy within itself. So I hate to, you know, upload such a massive you know file or you know video or whatever but at this point is kind of necessary and of course I'm gonna go ahead and switch around my stuff off screen of course but you know I just wanted to show some of this stuff off now usually this is the hallway where I find the tokos at oh no I'm not gonna deal with you they're getting a little ballsy they're trying to come after me and whatnot but this is the hallway where I usually find the tokos at. I got lucky when I found it in a previous uh, hallway. Let me see if that shimmy thing has a chest. It does. Darn it, I was kind of hoping it didn't so I could just keep on going because it's like, ah, oh, I don't want to stop my stride. I know I'm so close, but I have to do it. <laughs> I don't have to, but you get the idea. It could be a good weapon in here or something. Or a good item that would definitely help me out. What's this King Seeker? Oh yeah, that would definitely help me out. I think that fully restores uh, MP and HP to all party members, I believe. Which at this point in the game, I think you can use items in the Solosseum. I'm not entirely sure. To be honest but if you can't I mean the battle with the white witch is going to be the only battle where you can use these sort of stuff items so I mean heck why not I've always been the type of gamer that always I'm not actually going to fight this uh toko off screen okay anyway I don't know what I was saying because I, I honestly forgot that quick but I definitely need to level up just a little bit oh god no 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 mama no no <laughs> i know i haven't showed that variation of it but still no 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 we're close to that waystone which means we're close to ending this video and that's the door that's gonna lead us to the white witch so I'm sorry if this is pretty beefy, I really am, but this is the last video I think in this series that will be that long. So if you would like to see more Let's Plays or Weekend Walkthroughs, be sure to click on the links in the description below. But until then, you guys take care and have an awesome day. Take care. <sighs> Cannot believe it is almost over. Damn.